But we wanted to understand just what difference switching from running a Jad V10 internal combustion engine to electric would make to the performance of the car. So that's why we, we took our Le Mans car that we'd come third in the Le Mans championship with in 2010 and designed a brand new all electric drivetrain to really answer the questions, what does a 200 mile an hour electric car sound like? How does it perform? What's it like to drive? And what is the potential of this technology to really transform the cars that we drive every day? We'd love to race and run at Bonneville. It's a, a very iconic place. It was a, a real disappointment for us that a once in a hundred years weather event meant that the salt flats were flooded and we couldn't uh, run even once. But uh, certainly we'd like to go there in the future, uh, maybe next year when they run the, the, the FIA Speed Week. Because we believe this is the, the future. Uh, we think particularly in the, the global mega cities, the electric car is going to be very important. And we believe it's very important that motor racing is part of that future. Uh, Britain leads the world in motorsport engineering. We need to lead the world in electric motorsport. So being able to compete on city streets, showcase the technology which is now being developed for electric cars to create an event which excites people about that future, we see as being very important. It's a, a very exciting new initiative and one which we're delighted to be the, the first team to sign up for. Not in the first year, no. That's, we think that makes a lot of sense. It means that all of the teams will be racing with the same equipment to start with. We'll be on new circuits with new technology. And of course, in the second year, everyone is free to bring their own drivetrains. That's what we're going to be doing with Drayson Racing. And so we think that's going to put a premium in the first year on the driver talent. It's going to put a premium on team strategy. But it's going to give people an opportunity to understand just how exciting electric racing can be. A lot of it is going to be down to driver talent. The, the nature of racing on city street tracks where there's no runoff, where there's no opportunity to practice, you know, you can't do a lot of testing on these tracks, will mean that the ability of a driver to get in the car and nail uh, a good qualifying lap is going to be a real premium in that first year. But then during the race, it's all going to be down to team strategy and to the ability of the team to set up the car and squeeze that extra bit of performance from the drivetrain. So we've spent the last two years developing our own electric race car, really getting an understanding of what it takes to get the most out of the, the electric motors, the batteries and so forth, which we think is going to put us in a, a really strong position for that first year of the championship. Oh, this is fabulous news. It, it really rounds out what is already an outstanding race calendar going to all of the, the major cities in the world, including here in LA. But to have Monaco, uh, probably the most famous of all Grand Prix circuits, hosting a Formula E race, is something which I think really puts the icing on the cake for the championship. It's brilliant.